had a call with my editor Emily last night. Hi Emily. <laughs> and we went through and talked about a ton of changes that need to be made to my manuscript for All That's Forgotten before it is ready to send out to agents. One of the things that we discussed was that I am scrapping the current prologue and I am writing a new one and I'm really excited about it. The prologue has not been sitting uh, right with me for the past couple of months so I'm so glad that uh, her and I are on the same page with that. So she pitched a really great idea and I am going to take a stab at writing that today. So I thought I would take you guys along on that and I took so many notes yesterday from our conversation like so many so i'm really really excited to um kind of see what ideas i can come up with and maybe try out a few different um versions of this prologue and just see how that goes so let's get started <laughs> for a minute and I think I need a little change of scenery so I'm actually going to head outside it's a really really lovely day and I want to take advantage of that so I think I'm going to head outside for a bit and see if I can get some more uh, inspiration with a little change of scenery this is always tricky when I'm carrying 500 things Ooh. It's a really nice day, actually. I just made a TikTok about <laughs> this app that I use for any time that I'm uh, using the Pomodoro technique for just workflow and <laughs> I basically found this app where it does the timers and everything for you and it includes breaks and I'll just show you guys too in case you don't follow me on TikTok. It has a little timer up here and you can do all of your writing and then you can see the timer and where's my mouse you can adjust how long you want the flow to be so how long you work or how long you want your breaks to be and when you click play it goes away which is really nice and you can see we're working on my second flow the first one was just for demonstrational purposes so so I'm actually going to reset this and I'm going to change the flow duration back to 25 minutes and uh, get started. But yeah, that is, I know I'm so close right now. <laughs> that is the little app that I use. It's called Flow and I highly, highly recommend it if you are someone who likes to do consistent word sprints or anything like that and it's really nice. It's not obtrusive at all. It's just like right up there on the top bar. You don't see it. It's great. 10 out of 10 uh, recommend. That is all. I'm gonna keep working. I think what I'm struggling with right now is that Emily was like, you need to keep it to two to three pages, which I know sometimes I can be super wordy. So I'm being really conscious right off the bat to try and keep it short, snappy, and interesting enough to where the reader is definitely going to want to keep reading and figure out what's going on. And uh, I also wanted to really set the tone. My original prologue did not set the tone at all for what the book uh, was going to be so I'm trying to be really mindful of that this time around and write a prologue that is intriguing and uh, fits a little bit better with the rest of my story so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, what I have done is gone through and written um, my first take on a new prologue, just kind of what immediately came to mind or what I thought would be intriguing. And now what I'm gonna do is take an entirely different stab at it and go from a completely different angle and a different tone and see if that also works. I just wanna kind of have a few options to really nail down exactly what I'm looking for. And then I will send those off to Emily and see which one she prefers. But I really like what I came up with for this first one. The tone is very dark, but I think it's a good intro into the rest of the story. So we'll see. I really like it for a first pass, just kind of getting my thoughts out there. But I think I can do better, so <laughs> I'm gonna try again. Well, everyone, I have officially written two full new prologues, so now I really just have to decide which of them I would like to actually include in the story, and I will probably figure that out and then send it off to my editor, Emily, to see which one she likes, and yeah. I can't believe how much work I got done today. I uh, love that Flow app. I think it's so helpful. So if you are the kind of person who likes to do writing sprints or uses the Pomodoro technique to uh, get work done, then definitely check that out and let me know if you also like it. If you enjoyed today's little writing vlog, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Now go write something. Mm -hmm.